the upset man of the day, Wayne Smozanik. The Monsters are coming up for our next round of action between Invader, driven by Ray Perkowski out of St. Louis, Missouri, and David Morris aboard the Equalizer. Equalizer, 10,200 pounds, 1,300 horses. The truck was built in 1988. A brand new design Invader for 1993, 11,000 pounds, 1,300 horses. It's a Ford, but it's powered by a Chevrolet. You gotta remember that the winners of round two move on. The other guys can load it up on the trailer. And Equalizer wants to be that winner today. Invader, Invader, Invader! You know, warriors from your galaxy must have short memories. I destroyed you in our first confrontation, and now I'll be twice as strong. Surrender now. Even you must see that you are overmatched. Shut up. I have had it with your primitive rhetoric. It is time to retaliate and avenge my setback from our first encounter. These guys have met three times so far this year. Equalizer victorious all three times. But it's a different track, a different kind of racing, straight line racing. And here we go with Equalizer building up a lead. Invader just doesn't have the power to do it. Equalizer wins. Equalizer had it from the very first jump. Invader again, that problem of going too high while Equalizer stays low gets a power up to go over that second set of cars. David Morris has his truck operating perfectly. When they go over the cars just very lightly like that, they call that feathering the accelerator. And that's what David Morris did to win over Invader. Ray Perkowski gave it a little too much throttle, comes up too high, has to back out of it to correct so it can hit the second set of cars properly. That cost him a lot of time in this race. And this is one race where you don't have a lot of time. Speaking of time, it's time now for our next matchup between Carolina Crusher and Fred Schaefer Barefoot. Barefoot getting a chance to redeem himself after that loss to Tropical Thunder. He's back as a fast loser, but he's got to get past one of the toughest trucks on the circuit, Carolina Crusher. There once was a monster named Crusher. From Carolina, there was nobody tougher. Imagine the pain when again and again you discover there's nobody rougher. You're next, Barefoot! I hate all bears! Yeah! I crushed the Kodiak bear! And that was a whole bear! You're just a foot! Now it's time for me to put my foot down! and kick your carcass back into hibernation. See you next spring, when you've had the time to sleep off your disappointment. Talking about the monster trucks traveling, this guy comes from one coast to the other coast. It's Carolina Crusher, and he's in California, going against Fred Schaefer and Barefoot. Let's see if Schaefer learned anything after that first round loss. Now, Barefoot weighs in at 10,000 pounds, a little more, 10,050, 1,500 horses. Carolina Crusher, 10,000 on the nose, 1,400 horses. Does the horsepower advantage for Barefoot make any difference? Let's find out. On the start, Carolina Crusher with a hole shot, but now the big dodge powers up. It's Barefoot, 4.60 seconds. Talk about learning from mistakes. Watch Fred Schaefer very lightly over the cars, and now he powers up and up across the finish line, high in the air. Carolina Crusher did get the hole shot, but he took that first jump too high. He's not lined up quite right when he approaches the second set of cars. Barefoot, your winner. He moves on to the semis. The semifinals are up next. It's the number one and two trucks in the standings going head-to-head. -head. Grave Digger versus Barefoot. And in our other semi-final matchup, we'll see Tropical Thunder take on Equalizer. These monster machines have come a long way since their creation in the early 1970s. Today, they are high-tech, muddy munchers that can cost up to $150,000 just to build and another $120,000 annually in maintenance. Not all competitors can afford the big bucks this sport requires. So some drivers do the next best thing. 
they raped somebody else's truck. My dream ever since I was just a little bitty kid was, you know, to to have a, you know, a big truck. I guess, you know, if it wasn't for Gary, I just really wouldn't have ever got that chance to, you know, race a monster truck. After 30 years of racing stock cars, drag cars, and tractor cars, Gary Cook is stepping aside to let David Morris drive his newest toy, the Equalizer. He's more the upfront man, you know, meet the public type than me. I'm just more or less a mechanic, and that's, that's my expertise, is just nuts and bolts. Mike had always had interest in racing, and uh, he had asked me if, uh, if he minded to, if I minded, he tag along. Bob Fisher owns both the Liquidator and UFO, and since you can't race two trucks at the same time, he's hired longtime friend and driver Mike Wales. And that's kind of what gave him the bug, I think, and after that, it was no turning back. Now the driving duo are their own fiercest competitors. Bob Fisher soaring UFO and Mike Wales commanding the Liquidator. He don't harass me when he beats me, but I harass him like crazy when I beat him. So that's why I try not to let it happen too often. No matter how exciting the competition, the outcome of a race has a direct impact on the owner. Tearing the truck up or rolling it, you know, I, I, I try to keep that in the back of my mind because I do have to fix it. You have a, a very high personal involvement with whoever is in your machine, you know. Uh, we was at one of the races where he flipped twice, you know, and it makes you, you know, your heart come up in your mouth, you know, when something like that happens, you know, because you're you're a team, you know, and part of your team is in trouble. Each owner has a different reason for hiring a driver, but for these owners, being part of a team is worth every dollar in heartache. It's a lot of pride, and he calls home and tells me that he won, you know, that, uh, that perks me up real good, you know, it, uh, it gives you a good feeling, you know. David Morris and Mike Wales are the champions on the track, but the real unsung heroes are the owners, Gary Cook and Bob Fisher. Without them, these monsters couldn't soar. Monster truck owners invest more than just money in the sport. Their investment is one of passion. And if you've got some passion for some action, stay tuned. The semifinals are next. Equalizer and Tropical Thunder are coming your way.